<laughs> G'day folks. Ha. Uh, we're not going to be <laughs> woodland nothing today. It's going to be a... Uh, well, first of all, okay, there's a kind of public acknowledgement to be made here. I'd just like to thank everybody, all my uh, faithful viewers have been coming uh, to the Gators uh, Museum and Haberd <laughs> Haberdastery Show. <laughs> uh, I know there ain't much meat on the bone sometimes, but uh, people still come and view, and uh, I'm happy to see that, and uh, makes me happy to do these, so uh, I keep on doing them. <laughs> okay, uh, what are we up to this morning, <laughs> you're saying, eh? Uh, we're going to go fishing. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna go fishing. Uh, first of all, I gotta put the time about. Uh, well, you figure I'm 70, and uh, I was about hmm, well around 11, 12 years old then. So a few, a few years, eh? Things have changed, eh? I wouldn't know to recognize the place. It's uh, Wolf Lake. And uh, St. Clair Lake, up in Quebec. <laughs> We're young. My father had rented the uh, cottage for the summer, eh? And uh, so we're going to spend some time. He's traveling to the big city to work. But we're staying up there with my mother, eh? And uh, we're uh, <laughs> starting to learn about fishing, eh? But we met some guys up there. There's a little village, eh, just about maybe uh, half a mile from the lake, eh? Well, village. It's a general store and a few houses, eh? That's the village. It's called uh, East Hall East Hall Field, okay? If you care to look it up on the map, you'll, you'll see where it is. And uh, <clears throat> so... We met up with the young guys up there, some young guys, as three of them, I still remember their name, but wouldn't matter here anyways. And, uh, so uh, they're talking to us, eh, and they convince us there's a secret spot, eh? So you guys have to promise not to tell no one about this, eh? <laughs> Just between me and you guys, okay? Uh, first, we got to get... <laughs> Before we get to the crunches of the story, I have to tell you what we have to go through, eh? There's a general store, eh? And it's got a fence. It's got, you know these wood pickets? I still remember that, eh? It's a wooden picket, but it used to go in and it'd go out and, and, and it'd be kind of pointed at the top and they're all painted, okay? I forget what color they're painted. Probably painted, you know, those rose colors or blues that they used to have in the old days. Well, this general store, okay, it was the grandmas of the guys that we're going fishing with, okay, her, their grandma. And uh, <clears throat> she had these two big, it was a glass type uh, gas uh, pump, you know, that used to pump, I think, to fill the glass to the amount of gas you wanted, and then you pour it in your vehicle. <clears throat> anyway, that's how old this place was, okay. And uh, why won't this stay eh, to <laughs> floor jack? Uh, okay, so we first first off, before we go fishing, we had to catch some minnows, eh? Well, in those days, well, that's how we used to catch them, eh? The, but these are just small minnows. They're about that size. There's orange, red ones, and blue ones, okay? And they're good for fishing trout. So that's what we're going to, to fish, eh? And uh, there's all sorts of promises from these guys eh, that we're going to catch some big ones, eh? Anyways, so uh, two guys stay. They got a net in the creek. There's a little creek and it flows. It flows. There's a lot of water flowing. <coughs> and then this is in the summer, eh? So we go up the creek quite a bit. And we're slapping the creek with the branches, eh? So the minnows are coming up the creek, eh? So when we get about four or five feet from the net, 
You guys just lifting it. Ah, oh, we had about a hundred minnows in there. Eh? So we all put them in some cans with a little bit of water. Eh? Hey! <laughs> oh! <laughs> little detail, eh? I've for, forgotten this, but uh, <coughs> their grandmother <laughs> almost freaked out. When we came in there, we forgot to close the gate, and she had chickens in there, eh? Maybe. Well, 40, 50 chickens in there, eh? So now that chickens all are all over the, the road, eh? <laughs> they, you know how they are, eh? As soon as they see something different, out the hole they go, eh? And then one goes through, and then eh, all, all the chickens went through. But anyways, then she she says, after some damage, your father's going to pay. And she's yelling at us, saying, the guys that we were with, <laughs> that was her grandma, they just never mind her. She's always yelling for nothing. They, so we left her there, and she's running after a chicken in the road. <laughs> so we're off, ah, uh, not maybe two, three hundred feet from where that general store is, across the street, and the creek that we just uh, got the menus in. It's on that side of the road. There must have been a culvert somewhere in between the two, but. So we had to cross that. There's a place, it's two logs, and and we crossed that. But that creek comes from, well, part of it, part of the water, comes from up a mountain. Eh? So they start telling us about, well, they had, there was a preamble to this, <laughs> to this uh, fishing story, but they didn't tell us everything, eh? So they tell us that one of their uncle, <laughs> During the Second World War, he hid out at this lake up in the mountains. Eh? So I don't know what you call that. He's not what you call a war hero. I know that. Eh? Cause he was supposed to go fight, and he, he did like I did on the the diving board in Mexico. There, he chickened out. Eh? So he hid out in the mountains. And he, I guess he used to come every now and then down and uh, make some groceries and go back up to the lake. Eh? He spent, I, I don't know, a few years up there. But anyways, we could see as we're going up the creek, uh, we could see on one side the trail somewhat where some tires used to move rocks and things. Uh, you can see there was a... And uh, when we got up there, we seen the uh, <laughs> remains of a, an old uh, army jeep, eh? <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's funny that uh, he didn't do the service, but he was using an army jeep to get up to the mountain. <laughs> Anyways, this shack he had, <coughs> it was just a, well, maybe 10 by 12. Had a few windows in it, but when we seen it, okay, this was uh, uh, 62, 61, 62, 19, and 61, and 62, when we went up there, okay, so you figure it was prior to 45, so I mean, 20 some years, uh, it had deteriorated, the roof was caved in on a part of it. We went in the door and we looked inside. There was nothing left in there except some, uh, like some uh, dish, uh, metal dish and sa saucers and cups and a few things. And uh, there was a bed, an old bed that was all full of mice probably. <laughs> but uh, the roof was partially starting to cave in. And, uh, but we were all... It was like a special moment for us. We we come from the city, eh? And like this was just like a, just as good as the <laughs> Popeye and, and olive oil and <laughs> things like that. Eh? This was a, a well a renegade, eh? Uh, something like uh, Johnny Yuma, <laughs> but he didn't fight this guy. He he ran away. <laughs> Anyways, we got the there's a. It was a little, little flat, eh? But it was reclosed in the bush, and the lake was just in front. But there was big pine tree above. So I guess if they flew over, they wouldn't see him that easily, eh? 
and because uh, they were looking for these guys. There's probably thousands of them <laughs> up here, the the hideaways, eh? <laughs> so they weren't. Uh, I guess they weren't too well thought of by society. These guys, eh? Uh, these runaways. But uh, we we got fishing, <clears throat> fish some trout. There was a big round rock there, and it was maybe 20 feet deep in front, and there was a, a little, uh, how do you say that, the house for the beavers, <laughs> I forget, but that was the place to cast, and you'd cast, and you just pass by the beaver house, it's a bunch of branches, it's this whole round thing, eh? and you just, and they'd come out of the branches, eh, the trout, and bling, right on the so we caught quite a few, and uh, uh, it was good eating that night. <laughs> you ever had, like you put butter and uh, Crisco in the pan there, uh, cast iron pan, <laughs> and you uh, just clean them, eh? And uh, you put those small trout, eh? You put them in the speckled trout, eh? You put them in the pan there. That's good eating, eh? <laughs> Well, that's it, eh? I don't know uh, if this uh, if this counts as a, a good video. It's just a story, eh? Well, really what happens right now, you know what it is? It's kind of a dull time of the year, eh? You go out there, it's cold, and you don't feel like... I blow the snow, and that's about as much as I do, eh? So I figured, <clears throat> keep this channel active, eh? I tell you stories. I know some people, because they tell me, hey, they like them stories, eh? Some people don't, but, uh, hey, <laughs> not much I can do. <laughs> but, uh, like I said at the start, uh, I do appreciate the people that are, uh, come back, eh, and they look at the videos, because that encourages me. If I had nobody looking at these, I wouldn't be making them. <laughs> so, okay, folks. That's the that's the little story for today. I'll have more, eh? Odds are, like, seeing as though this one wasn't that good, chances are that the other ones are going to be better. <laughs> so, okay, folks, I salute you all. Don't forget to subscribe. Those that are they're scared, eh, that they're going to get a bill from YouTube if they subscribe. Nah, you, not subscribe, but you have to... <coughs> I don't know, log on, or I don't know, you gotta subscribe to YouTube before you're able to subscribe to my channel, eh, and YouTube don't charge no money, and they don't send you no bill, and there's no advertisement of any sort, anyways, <laughs> okay, I salute you all, <laughs> and uh, don't forget comments, eh, uh, comments are welcome, uh, like to give uh, non-generic answers to the comments uh, and we'll see you in the next one <laughs>